Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of The Gay Dad in the Closet, starring moi, The Gay Dad in the Closet, but not to be confused with The Gay Dad in the Closet. I definitely don't want to take that title away from Adam. It is Eric, and we thought that uh, I would step in today. He has chosen me. I feel so honored and so special that he has selected me as his temporary stand-in. If you did see yesterday's video that we posted, you will understand why he has chosen me to take over for him. So I feel so honored. Thank you, Adam. This week's sponsor is brought to you by this beverage. This glorious, wonderful beverage may have vodka in it, may have some ginger beer in it, maybe already have drank. Highly recommended. Very smooth. Makes you feel a little tingly. If you use your code McHusband's um, half drink and glass, you will receive the rest of this beverage. So this week's episode is going to be all about cleaning and organize. When you have little ones running around, I don't know about everyone out there, but I find it very difficult to keep any kind of things organized, any kind of things clean. It seems like every single time I do clean, I turn around and it is a mess again. <sighs> so for example, today I swept and I cleaned and it was great. And I walk into the kitchen and I go get a snack for myself, heaven forbids. And I come back and the girls have taken their crayon box and just, it's everywhere. And they dumped it everywhere. So not only are there crayons, but there's like little shavings of crayons that were in the box that now are everywhere. So now I have to go and clean it up and sweep all over again. It's just like this cycle that uh, I cannot keep up with. And I don't know how y'all do it out there especially with more than one child. I personally have three in my household. Yes, I said three. I count Adam as the third one. I'm not talking about Ariel. If you were to say Ariel, I would say four. But Addison Evers and Adam, three. <laughs> I said four. Adam may count as two. So maybe that's why I instinctively put up four. I don't know. But yeah, it's, um, it's a lot. And uh, I know I'm not alone. I definitely know I'm not alone, but how do you cope with it? How do you deal with it? How do you keep up with it? Granted, the girls are getting older and they are getting better about putting their toys away and their stuff away before they pull out something else. But let me tell you, it is impossible for them to keep consistent on that. So let me know what you do out there. If you say nanny or if you say housekeeper, I'm probably going to wring your neck because those both cost money and we just can't afford that right now. But if you are going to say that and you're feeling very generous and kind and sweet, may we borrow them, please? Go ahead and if that is the case and we can borrow your lovely nanny at no charge or your lovely housekeeper at no charge and you happen to be in the Tucson area, please reach out to us at info at mccusbums.edu.uk.com forward slash please oh thank you forever be in depth dot com. The other thing that I have noticed is that, you know, at the end of the day, the girls are in bed. Adam and I will pick up all their clothes, pick up all of their toys, put it all in order. They're Playroom looks pristine. It's all clean. But the second the girls wake up, it is like a game for them. They run into their play area and they just start pulling things out. It's like, it's seriously like a game. Like how many toys can I possibly pull out at once? Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone have that issue? Why do we even put things away? Oh yeah, because we want to keep things clean and sane. But then when we do put them away, they just keep getting taken out again. So what's the point? So it's like this cycle that never stops. Will it ever stop? Please, please tell me that it stops. At <laughs> what age does it stop? I'm feeling a little claustrophobic in here. I'm not going to lie. I'm very claustrophobic. And so I don't know how Adam does this every week. I mean... Not only does he do it every week, but he does this quite often during the day, to be quite honest. Like, constantly, that's kind of how we got the idea, is that he's always in this closet, eating away from the girls. We need a bigger pantry. <sighs> Alright, guys. 
Thank you for watching this week's episode. I hope I did it justice. I hope Adam is going to be proud of me. And please let me know how you get through this without finishing one of these. Or if finishing one of these is how you get through it, then great! Cheers! Remember to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you give us a thumbs up and there's lots of thumbs up, that'll show Adam I did a good job. But we love you all. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Gay Dad in the Closet. Adam will hopefully be back by then. Please send all your good thoughts out to him. He's in a rough time right now and completely understandable. I love him with all my heart and I know he will get through this. And especially with the support and help of all you great people out there and our family, I know you all just make him feel better. So give him that extra love. Send an email his way telling him that it's going to be great send a facebook message send an instagram message we hope you're all doing well and we'll see you next week three